Tonight a battle brews over the future of school funding as the government threatens to rip up the rule book. I'd like some very firm reassurance from the government that they are not backtracking. Raising retirement and extending GST, the radical new suggestions to balance Australia's budget. And the historic US-Iran nuclear deal is branded an historic mistake. This agreement has made the world a much more dangerous place. From SBS, this is World News Australia. Hello, I'm Ricardo Gonsalves. And I'm Sarah Arbo. Also ahead tonight, it's just not cricket. Why there are calls to reopen an adoption program between Australia and Ethiopia. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? And on hold, the growing rebellion against plans to allow phone calls in the sky. First tonight, the government's being accused of breaking a key election promise over school reforms. Education Minister Christopher Pine says the so-called Gonski reforms are impossible to implement and has announced he'll change the way the money is administered without pulling any cash. But that's left some fearful of a backflip. It's back to the drawing board, according to the Education Minister, Christopher Pine. Mr Pine says Labor's so-called Gonski reforms are a shambles. And tragically, uh, I have to go back to the drawing board, essentially, and try and create a funding model that can be implemented. Mr Pine says the previous government hadn't finalised deals with the Catholic education sector nor with the Victorian or Tasmanian governments. But Tasmania's education minister says a deal was signed for six years. I'm holding the written agreement in front of me now. It's signed by Tasmanian Premier Lara Giddings and former Prime Minister Kevin Rudd and it commits the Commonwealth Government to funding their share of Gonski for Tasmania. Opposition leader Bill Shorten says the government's using weasel words to wriggle out of agreements it said it would support before the election. Australian parents and Australian teachers are discovering that the government that uh, we were told they would be before the election is not the government which Australians are getting now. The New South Wales Teachers Federation says Mr Pine's pre-election promises were only made in order to win votes. Mr Pine is being dishonest. It's, uh, Mr Pine is acting in a deceit manner. He never supported Konsky. He never supported additional funding. He railed against it. He protested against it. Jane Caro, the author of What Makes a Good School, says she wants a firm reassurance from the government that it's not backtracking on its election promises. The parents of Australia voted on the basis of that promise that the money would follow need, would follow educational need. And we need to see that continue. The Greens, which hold the balance of power in the Senate until July, are vowing to block any changes in Parliament. Lisa Upton, World News Australia. No super until you're...